Let's play in three, two, one, go. ITSM3 is trying to scoop up those stars from the center. Oh, but the stars get jumbled up, and their claw ends up just missing. TM86, they got IQ successfully delivered. Now they are working on those stars. As a friendly reminder, those cubes are worth two points in the near zone. The stars are worth one point in the near zone. There are these white lines that run through the middle of the field. If they are past that, they will be in the far zone. The Red Alliance has won the autonomous play. Driver control in three, two, one, go. As soon as they get over that white line, they are now worth double. So a star across in that far zone is worth two points. A cube in that far zone is worth four points. So you have to carefully de decide where to score those pieces and how to throw them and get them up and over and in place. Great delivery here over on the Blue Alliance by ITSM3. Keeping that cube up and in place. But Team at 6, they're on cleaning detail. They are making sure that their scoring areas are as prim and proper, completely clear of all the game pieces. <laughs> uh, with 30 seconds left in the match, the driver lows can come into play. That can double the number of cubes in play from the two to four. There's some great defense trying to be played by Team at 6, but ITSM3 manages to still score those cubes. And them up and in place. We have seven seconds left. Will we see a last second score? We've got two cubes hurtling through the air. They both trade sides. Will it get back in time? Oh, but it falls.